Backpack Battles has hundreds of items and thousands of possibilities of builds you can create to grind the game. With there being so many possibilities in Backpack Battles, there begs the question on which one is the best. Or better yet, what are the top three builds in Backpack Battles? I have created a list of my personal top three strongest builds in a game. As of creating this list, I am a consistent diamond player who specializes in the ranger. With that being said, if there are any higher players out there or reapers for that matter, feel free to spread any information in the comments so we can all get better together. Starting with number three, I'm going to go with the Dark Saber combination with Belladonna's Whisperer, or even the Tuscan Piercer, whichever one suits your fancy. This is an extremely strong DPS build that focuses on putting debuffs on your opponent. This build uses a Ranger's subclass item and relies on pineapples to give you those spikes, which convert over to poison as a form of DPS. Also, using that exact same debuffs to increase the damage that your Dark Saber does along with your Belladonna's Whisperer. If you go the Tuscan Piercer route, that would directly feed off your spikes which your pineapples will generate helping you do even more dps the only downside of this build is that it doesn't have much survivability it's mainly a glass cannon build and it's extremely strong however who really needs to survive if you kill them before they kill you and on the number two slot i have the hammer and dagger build another very 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 strong build if created correctly there are many different variations of this build considering the different variations of daggers that are out there however i have had the most success personally from running the spectral daggers which often enough turns into yet another glass cannon build however i do find it to be much stronger than the latter and considering it's a build that you can start extremely early since it's makeup is just a hammer and a dagger its scaling can be quite scary once you get the hammer and maybe two three four daggers along with a consistent source of mana you are practically unstoppable especially if you incorporate a couple of bullet daggers in there for that survivability this build is capable of taking down a lot of other meta builds out there like the mana torch ripsaw blade build or even bloodthorn builds the only downside of this build would be stamina since the hammer takes so much of it so you have to find a nice mix of stamina generation and speed increase on your hammer which can usually just be fixed with a couple of rabbits and for my number one meta build out there it would most definitely a hundred percent have to be the bloodthorn now the bloodthorn has been the king of backpack battles for a very long time now because in my opinion it has the best combination of dps and survivability simply because of its passive ability of turning regeneration into vampirism and thorns which increases its own dps with a nice source of regeneration like the leaf or even a new heart canister you're practically gaining two more damage per hit and it increases your survivability because of vampirism this can also be combined with the blood goober for even more dps and survivability considering it directly gets stronger from the vampirism that you're gonna gain anyways for just having a blood thorn with a couple of regeneration and if you want even more dps you can even slap on some pineapples for the thorn generation which directly increases the dps of the blood thorn now the only downside to this build would most definitely 100 percent have to be the ripshaw blade since it does remove that regeneration and spikes which basically makes your blood thorn weaker however that can definitely be countered by having just base vampirism such as the vampiric gloves or even the blood amulet it can also help having a few rabbits which can give you a consistent stream of regeneration or even empowerment which helps you out anyways along with the heart canisters giving you another consistent source of regeneration overall the bloodthorn has proven itself time and time again that is the king of backpack battles and it's a reliable way of winning and climbing the ranks in the game now i do hope you guys found this video to be very helpful and i hope that you enjoyed it feel free to spread your favorite builds in the comments or even what your take is on the top three or what's your top three in general um i would love to see everyone's feedback and thoughts and do not forget to drop a like so we can share this information with as much people as possible and as always thank you guys for watching and enjoy your backpack battles battles <laughs>